Hello everybody, Frank Sullivan, Mad Scientist. Uh, I thought I'd share something with you I was just experimenting with <laughs> and it works. It's pretty cool. There's a guy named uh, Nighthawk on YouTube that did this and I thought I'd try it just to see and sure enough it works really good. This stuff is called Starlight. Now Starlight is fireproof as you can see here and i will be going through the motions and making some more just to show you what it is and it only takes these three ingredients baking soda cornstarch and white elmer's glue now i did run into a small problem do not get the fast drying type it's an extra strong elmer's glue that didn't work too good <laughs> but uh this proto putty uh proto putty uh of uh, starlight it hardens up after a while, but it still feels fairly soft, but it works really good. I'm going to take a torch and show you exactly how well it works. Uh, I'm going to make up, a, make up another batch, and we're going to try it out, and I'll show you what the results are. Now, uh, just for some references, this is the cornstarch, and it doesn't have to be exact, but I put in that much and maybe a teaspoon or a little over of uh, baking soda. And then you just start mixing glue until it becomes like a rubbery ball that you can mold and Play-Doh like. And uh, I will show you that shortly as soon as I mix up the rest. All right, I'm back. And uh, there's my little ball of putty. Now, just note, uh, it takes a little bit to get used to mixing this stuff. When you mix it, it, uh, it seems a little sticky, but it will be that way. And eventually, over a little bit of time in mixing, it will come into a ball of putty to where it doesn't stick. So if you've got this on your hands, don't worry about it because it'll get all over your hands. And uh, eventually, it will uh, dry up to the point where it'll take everything right off your hands and make it right back into the putty now i'm going to mold this and i'm going to probably put this right over one of these cups which easily melts from a torch so we're going to see what happens okay i'm back and now just uh i should note uh this is wet and it works better whenever it's dried up however it works plenty fine while it's like that uh so here we go without uh shot here i'm gonna get this torch and we're gonna see what happens with it so far so good pretty impressive one of these plastic cups will be really melting by now look at that it works really good I mean literally and by the way I don't know if I can do this I'm gonna try but I have uh, one hand free here and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that but I can put my hand on here burn it and actually not fill it on the other side uh, it actually works good I did it with this one look at that no charring on the other side and it works good unfortunately i gotta get myself a tripod or something <laughs> that way i can hold one and uh try it out for you guys but i just wanted to run this over and uh put up a video and thank nighthawk he does a really good job at uh videoing this and uh i just threw it together just for sake of seeing what would happen and this stuff works i mean it really works and there's also another video it's worth mentioning a guy made a bowl out of this stuff and he put thermite in it i thought for sure the thermite was going to win but it didn't the starlight beat the thermite go figure and that's a major heat even more than the torch could give so uh yeah just uh something that's uh, real neat and could be useful uh, have a great day guys and uh, keep on inventing and I got a few more uh, inventions and videos coming up uh, in the near future. Okay back one last thing um, I did figure a way to uh, do this uh, so I'm going to put the torch on and I'm going to put my hand right in here. If that melts the plastic melts on my hand. 
Here we go. Oh yeah. Getting toasty. Nope. Can't feel a thing. That is awesome. Nothing. That's great. <laughs> so, just wanted to show you a starlight. It's amazing stuff. You cannot feel it underneath it. Uh, I literally put my whole hand underneath this one and I couldn't feel a thing. So it's uh, really neat and unique.